This video has been produced to help give people thinking about working in the early childhood profession, parents, students and careers advisors, a better understanding of what the early years are really about and what employment opportunities and study pathways are available to those entering the profession. The early years are critical and learning is most effective when it begins at a young age. Investing in a committed and qualified early childhood workforce is critical in helping children reach their potential. Investing in realising Australian children's potential is an investment in Australia's future. What we know from research, both Australian and international, is that high quality early childhood experiences are related to better intellectual, social and behavioural development for children and that outcomes for children are not fixed at birth. However, what happens over the first five years is critical to their prospects for life. The early years are when we build the critical neural pathways in our brain that support how we learn and engage throughout our life. In the first three years, neural synaptic connections are being made at over 700 per second, the highest growth rate in an individual's life. The first five years are of utmost importance. This is where we lay down the scaffolding to support a child's intellectual, language, physical, social and emotional development. Providing access to high-quality, affordable early education programs is one of the best ways to ensure positive outcomes for children, particularly those who are disadvantaged. This means providing not only great early childhood spaces for children, but also ensuring that we have the best educated teams working with them. Early childhood is built on educators who are passionate about children and create the best nurturing and learning spaces for them. Working in early childhood is one of the most important educator roles there is and is one of the most rewarding roles you can have. It's exciting, it's dynamic, it's built on a relationship between the educator, the child, the parent and a belief that each child has the capacity to be the very best that they can be given the best start in life. As a parent, ultimately we're looking for a, a, a centre that's, that's going to provide challenges for our child and, and, and help them grow and, and develop confidence and um, I guess ultimately give them the opportunity to, to take intellectual risks and, and uh, f find their own identity. I would look for um, friendly staff. I would look to see that my child was welcomed. I would look for good communication with the staff in the service and I would look at the spaces to see uh, if they were welcoming, friendly, um, that children could access uh, materials as needed um, and that they were going to have fun. Children's services are required to have certain levels of qualifications and I would certainly be looking to see who those qualified people were in the service and who was in charge of my children's room. I think early childhood educators really are amazingly special people. I think they, first of all, they need to be very patient. They need to have a sense of humour. They need to love children, obviously. They really need to be able to just get down and dirty with the kids and really have fun with them. But at the same time, they really need to have an understanding of children's development. They need to know how children work and understand how they learn. And um, most importantly, really just love and care for children. I stay in early childhood because I love my job. I love getting up every morning coming to work. You know, I've always wanted to work with children, so after doing Year 12, I went to TAFE and did my Certificate 3 in Children's Services. I then continued on and did my diploma and then went to the University of Canberra to do my Bachelor and I got a year taken off credit for the diploma. 
You need to want to be here, you need to love working with children, you need to be flex flexible, able to think on your feet, creative, imaginative and just that bubbly personality to be happy around them. This work is important because the children are our future. The early years are the important years for all of that brain development. They're learning so many new skills all through play. Lots of people just say, oh, you just go to work and play every day, but it's through that play that they're doing so much learning. After leaving school, I worked in a supermarket for a little while. Um, then I decided uh, I'd try an apprenticeship and I went, moved to Melbourne and was a butcher for uh, about a year and that didn't pan out, it was enjoyable but I decided to move back home where i done supermarket work again and then I moved over to Griffith where I worked at Biata in a processing plant. I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more so I decided to do my certificate three in childcare and eventually become a teacher. It's important to have the right people in the centre that actually want to engage with the children, want to be there with the children. Um, also, the play space is important, what you've got set up for the children. It's the right things that they're interested in, the things that they're going to benefit most from, the things they're going to engage in the most. Play is important because that's how children learn. They get everything out of play. When, you're, when they're engaged in play, that's where they learn all their valuable skills that they need for life. When they're in, enjoying it, they learn a lot more. I want to stay in early childhood because I enjoy it. it. It's a reason to come to work every day. When you first walk in the door, the children want to talk to you. They, you enjoy their company. You just, they just want to make you be, be here, really. The main reason I came into the sector was because I was working in birthing centres and I saw the effect of interventions early on in children's lives and I was looking towards um, having a positive effect on parents long term. That's why I saw that early childhood was the way to go, beginning early and, and starting to do positive things with children. My role as an educator is to focus on the child and the family, support and encourage development uh, stand up for the rights of children and uh, bring the best that I can to their life. And let them have a great childhood because today is all they've got. Tomorrow will be another day, but today is the only childhood that they'll get. The qualities that I think that are important working early, in early childhood would be having a sense of humour, uh, being patient and resilient. I would say also uh, being well informed and being a lifelong learner, always open to new experiences and putting children at the, the forefront of your mind at all times. Okay. Um, the study pathway that I followed was very slow. Um, after having five children, I started my certificate three in early childhood. Uh, I loved it. Then I went on to my diploma, uh, finished that uh, by distance and found that I could study by distance. Then went into studying for my degree again uh, at Macquarie University uh, through distance education and I found that uh, yeah, I just loved it and I'm still studying today uh, and I will for the rest of my life started off just doing the diploma and then a few years down the track decided to do my Bachelor of Teaching. My role now is a Director of a 60 Place Service and I'm also the Educational Leader. I stay in early childhood because I love it. The children keep you young. Um, you get so much satisfaction out of children. They come out with the most wonderful things and they're learning. And while they're learning, I'm learning as well. I came into the sector as a young 17 year old straight from high school into college, as it was called at the time. Um, probably not giving a lot of thought to it, only that I had done a lot of 
um, babysitting when I was younger and all those sorts of things and I knew that I wanted to do something with children. So I guess I ended up doing the teaching course and I had chosen early childhood because I always knew that I liked little children. My final prac in my three years was at a preschool so I think that gave me the inspiration to, to follow the, the real early childhood pathway. You know, you stay in it because you love it and you see the rewards every day when children walk in the door and want to tell you things and are very excited about, you know, even the stones out in the playground or, or whatever it happens to be. When you see their little faces and, and you know that you've developed relationships with them. I started off my career as a manager of a very busy dispensary but always had a passion and commitment and knowledge that I would one day go into the early childhood sector. Um, I was fortunate enough that um, I seen a job advertised for a traineeship at our long day care service in our town and took the leap of faith and um, applied and was very fortunate enough to um, yeah, gained my training via that way, so I started off as a trainee, um, gained my skills um, working on floor um, 38 hours a week and studying um, as part of that. The rewards were immense being a trainee, that um, I actually got to play a mentoring role within that as well, that at the, at the local TAFE there was nobody else um, who was in my group who was getting hands-on experience so I was pretty much going on floor working alongside families and children gaining a wealth of experience that way and then taking back my knowledge of what I was gaining each day to um, my studies. I've been fortunate I've worked in long day care centres and preschool um, but mobile is my passion. Um, I just feel no matter what service type you're lucky to work within. Every child in every area deserves the same high quality education. Every day that you come, the rewards you get from family and community is just so rich and so powerful that it, it's truly all of what we believe in, in in our sector, that it's about relationships, it's about connection, it's about education and it's the mobile offers that in a very holistic way. Because it's about the children and their needs and helping them develop as they grow up. I like this job because there's a great bunch of people to work with. It's fun, you get to act like a kid and muck around. While they're in our care, they need to get everything they would at home, like all the care and attention and love. The federal government, in conjunction with state and territory governments across the country, has invested in significant reforms in the early childhood sector to support the best outcomes for children, families and the community. The National Quality Agenda for Early Childhood Education and Care has a number of elements that have been developed and implemented over the past few years that support great outcomes. At the beginning of 2012, the National Quality Framework was introduced in Long Day Care, Family Day Care, Outside School Hours Care and Preschools. The National Quality Framework aims to raise the quality of early childhood education and care by introducing a National Quality Standard. This standard focuses on programming, health and safety, the environment, relationships with children, staff, families and community and on management and leadership. As part of the National Quality Framework, minimum qualification requirements are being introduced, including minimum qualifications for all educators. With these changes, there has also been a commitment at all levels of government to grow the capacity of the workforce to meet the best outcomes for children and families. The increase in expectations of the educator workforce to support the quality agenda has meant that a significant investment in upskilling educators has had to be a strong component of the early childhood agenda. This is being implemented through a strong workforce strategy.
Dr. Fraser Mustard and, and the researchers for the Ontario project found that if we don't put the money, the time and the energy into early childhood, the outcomes for society in the end are very low. So really everything that we do in teaching children good nutrition, good life habits, well-being, uh, social and emotional, these all come together to make their life better for the whole of their life. This work is important because children are very important important for the future, important economically, in, in every, every possible way. And it's an opportunity for us to help children establish the, the base for them to go forward in their lives and to achieve the most that they can possibly achieve. Why is it that I want these people to be uh, highly capable, knowledgeable people who are working with young children? And it's because from birth to five is a period of time when children are enabled to set a, a pathway as future learners, able to interact with others. It is the most significant period in a child's life. And that period in a child's life is uh, supported if they grow and learn in relationships uh, that are constant, that where the no adults are knowledgeable, where the adults are caring and where there is safe challenge and reciprocity. I love this job because every day is a rewarding day. It is fantastic and just rewarding to see the children grow and have a fantastic day. Oh, I just love this job because it's forever changing, it's challenging, it's creative um, and I feel it just brings the best out of me every day. Well, considering I've only been in early childhood for the last five years, the reason I plan on staying around is because I love it, I enjoy what I do. It's nice to be able to wake up each day and be happy to go to work. So therefore, you know, you bounce out of bed and you get going and you're enthusiastic. Considering the changes also that have gone through with early childhood uh, in the last two years, I want to be around to see where we go and how we end up and what that looks like. A career in early childhood is a great profession that is both challenging and rewarding. I'd encourage anyone that is interested to contact their careers coordinator, TAFE, university or someone in the sector. Another great way to find out if you're interested in this career path is to volunteer or do work experience in an early childhood setting. If you want to make a difference in children's lives and be a building block of tomorrow's generation, then a career in early childhood is for you. Come be a part of something greater. Thank you.